guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Limi. Today I'm gonna be making the gingerbread cookies. These are the Christmas essence with so delicious spice flavors and the gingerbread man's smells and their charms. It's super fun to make them and also decorate them with their eyes, bow ties, buttons, and smells. So today I'm gonna make a start to cook the basic gingerbread cookies and next it will be all your imaginations from your gingerbread cookies loving heart. We will need eight ingredients, the all-purpose flour, brown sugar, egg, butter, ground ginger, ground cinnamon, baking powder, and salt. And as usual, I will put all these ingredients and their measurements down below in the descriptions for you to follow along at home. Now let's get started for the gingerbread cookies. First, I'm gonna soften this unsalted butter. If you have this butter in the room temperature for like a couple of hours, that's good to go. I just took them from the fridge, so I will microwave heat them for about 10 seconds. First, I'm gonna transfer this softened butter to a large mixing bowl and cream it. This is three tablespoons of softened butter. Use electric whisk to cream this butter. Now this batter, the color turns a little bit white and it's fluffy. The texture is more like a feather. Then we're gonna add the brown sugar. Add three tablespoons of brown sugar and continue to whisk until they are well combined. Next step, we're gonna add egg to this mixture. But for this batch, we only need one quarter of the beaten egg. So I put this one aside and we're gonna need two containers. One is to beat the egg. This one is to keep the one quarter amount of the beaten egg. That is what we need for this batch. This is about two ounces of the beaten egg. Let's pour a quarter of the amount to this smaller cup. That's it. Gradually add this beaten egg to the mixture, half a month first, and continue to whisk. Until the beaten egg is fully incorporated, we gradually add the rest of the beaten egg and continue to whisk. Now the beaten egg is fully incorporated. We're gonna sift all the dry ingredients. This is three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half teaspoon of ground ginger, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and about one sixteenth teaspoon of salt. I just put it, I don't have one sixteenth teaspoon, but this is just half of the one eighth teaspoon. This is salt. Use spatula to mix them a bit. And then use spatula to fold the dry ingredients to the mixture. At first, you will see a lot of dry ingredients more than the batter mixture. And you may wonder whether it will form the dough or not. No worries, this recipe works and it will form the dough. See like this? So just the folding all the dry ingredients to the mixture and it will form the dough. Just take some time for the butter and sugar to combine with all the other dry ingredients. Now our dough forms well and because the dough gets soft so quick, so we are gonna chill it in the fridge for at least one hour or even overnight that will be fine too, but in the fridge, not freezer. Um, I'm gonna wrap it in the plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for one hour. See you in one hour. Now the chill time one hour is over. I remove it from fridge and I take off this plastic wrap. And next we're gonna roll it out to a quarter inch thickness. Use this kneading pin just to roll it out.
Now this is about a quarter inch thickness. Now I'm gonna use this gingerbread cookie cutter to shape the dough into small pieces of the gingerbread man. Now carefully transfer our gingerbread man cookie to the parchment paper lana baking sheet. Now our gingerbread man cookies can be baked up at 355 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. They are. Can you say no to them? They are so charming and they're smiling. Mm, they smell so delicious. Let's crumble and pull out the spice flavors. I feel I need a cup of tea or coffee. That's, that's the perfect pair. Here is a tip when you cut the dough because the dough is so easy to get soft with a cutter it may not be that easy to cut the clean line so if in that situation you may want to freeze the dough for another 5 minutes then the dough becomes hard and it's easier to cut the dough with a cookie cutter and it feels so Christmas mm, just want to have another one I want you to try this recipe if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also please comment down below and let me know your favorite gingerbread cookies or gingerbread girl cookies and please subscribe me for more. Happy holidays! See you real soon in my next video. Bye!